If you're anything like me, you've done your very best to avoid high impact fusions. They shoot and reload very slowly and they handle poorly, which is why you see a high usage rate of rapid fire fusions, which are in total opposition to high impacts, boasting good stats and good damage. Historically, high impact fusions were rarely used anywhere in PvE, but ever since a series of largely unnoticed changes in Season of the Risen and Season of the Haunted, plus the release of two new high impacts this season with desirable perks, high impact fusions are now a force to be reckoned with. Also, I just want to quickly add we're super close to 10k subs and if we could hit this goal by the 9th of September it would mean so much so please subscribe I promise you won't regret it. Let's start by touching on the two newly released high impacts this season the Eremite and Nox Perennial 5. The reason both of these fusions are special is because number one they can both roll Envious Assassin and Controlled Burst with the Eremite having the added benefit of being craftable and thus can benefit from enhanced perks and number two they're in different slots Eremite being Solar Burn in the Energy slot and Nox Perennial being Strand Burn in the Kinetic slot. It's also worth mentioning Loaded Question which came back to us last season also rolling with Envious Assassin and Control Burst, though unfortunately it has the disadvantage of not matching Surge to any meta heavy options and it's a lot harder to obtain a good roll compared to the Eremite, so I won't be discussing this weapon further. Alright, let's dig into some numbers. My testing methodology for this video is as follows. All testing was done on the Templar, two separate fusion rifle archetypes were tested, high impacts and rapid fires, an Eremite with controlled burst and a Cartesian coordinate with Vorpal. Two separate methods were used to test DPS and total damage. DPS via a no block TP damage phase lasting 12 seconds and total damage via emptying the whole reserves with TP blocks. Each test was conducted using DDT for accurate health bar measurements and I used triple reserve mods for maximum ammo. Plus, each category was tested three times to yield an average. I was also standing in a well of radiance and had boss spec equipped. The results are as follows. High impacts are the clear winners for total damage with a true health bar total damage of 1.23 million compared to a weaker 1.1 million true total damage for rapid fires. However, rapid fires have a slight edge on DPS, coming in at a true DPS of 48,000 with high impacts at a weaker 42,000 DPS. But as you can see, the difference is not that drastic. Editing Llama here. During testing, I was using an Aramite with Envious Controlled Burst, which is capped at 20 bullets with triple reserves, and I assume the same was true for Nox Perennial. However, I just recently discovered that Nox Perennial can for whatever reason hold 26 with max reserve leading me to retest the real total damage number, which is now 1.59 million, far higher than rapid fires. So, despite high impacts feeling awfully sluggish to use, the numbers don't lie. But what is the best use case for fusion rifles these days? Well, they just so happen to be an excellent choice to pair with support roles like Tractor Cannon or Galahorn. You see, if you find yourself in one of these roles, your heavy slot is starved of any damage potential, so you need to find a way to use your special ammo and your abilities to output as much damage as possible to make up for this, which is where both of these fusion come in. However, some thought must be dedicated to deciding which fusion to pair with what support weapon. At first glance, the Eremite is the obvious choice since it's craftable and a lot easier to obtain than Nox Perennial. And yes, it does pair the best if you're the Galahorn user, since they both benefit from Solar Surge. If you're the Tractor user, however, I would advise using Nox Perennial, provided you somehow manage to get one. The reason for this is in a raid setting, ad clear matters, especially in Crota's End. And unfortunately, the Kinetic slot doesn't have nearly as many excellent options as the Energy slot for ad clear. Think Forbearance, Reservoir Burst Fusions, and Primary Weapons with Elemental Synergies, making Nox Perennial an excellent pick for the Tractor user, as they retain the freedom of good ad clear while keeping the strong complementary damage. Plus, for Tractor Cannon specifically, Surge Matching is not important. Just to show you how much damage a well-optimized Tractor setup using Nox Perennial can do, I'll leave you with this clip. So, next time you're in tractor or galley duty, try a high impact fusion and I promise you'll be satisfied. Bye for now, dear viewer.